Hi all, this is Polly. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. Today is Friday weigh-in. So if you looked at my last video, you know that I'm going to be changing it up a little bit today, or this evening. I won't be actually weighing myself until the following Friday, so I'm going to be taking my measurements today. As I was saying before, I'm going to be rotating measurements one week and weighing the next. So tonight I'm going to be doing my measurements. So if you remember on the one of the previous videos, uh, let me see, put this together here. Previous videos, I showed you this book I got from the Dollar Tree. It says, uh, let your light shine. And it has a section for the measurements. So you can track your measurements. That's what I'm going to be doing today. You can see I filled out the date. And the next one is the weight, which I'll be doing next week. I'll be putting in another section. Like, put the weight for the weight tracker right here, starting next Friday. And next one is BMI, Body, ma body Max index i have no idea what that is so i'm not going to worry about that it's going to be ne measuring my neck chest oh, i'm sorry i don't want to measure, measure the chest i want to keep the girls the way they are and the next one is uh, biceps hips thighs waist and calves so let's get started first what i'm going to do is measure my uh, neck so please bear with me i'm still learning how to use this little measuring tape, a retractable one. But I did figure out that on here is actually a measurement on this part right here too. So this part from this end to that is actually two inches. So include that once you start measuring yourself, two inches is included plus whatever it comes to. So let me go ahead and measure my neck with this direction, I think. I don't know the reason to measure the neck, but I like on any track. All right, so that reads. Let's go ahead and take it off and read it. That read like 15 and a quarter inch. That's for my neck. So let me write that down on my cue cards I have. Now I'm going to measure my biceps. I can do this right already. It's like, um, Seventeen inches for my bicep, left bicep, Let's do the right bicep, Let's go further up. And hang. I don't like how this is working for me. It's almost 16 inches and a half. The right bicep. Next is my hips. Find my hips already. You gotta twist it. Oh, it's not quite working the way I wanted to. Might have been better just buying the tape measure. Just the regular one. I have one around here. It came with it as a set, but I don't remember where I put it. Let's try the hips again.
Okay, we're not gonna worry about this part. I'm just gonna go ahead and do it on my own. Here. It's like 55 inches and a half hips. The thighs. Hmm. Let's see. Should sit down for that. So let me just go ahead and sit down and do that. Now I'm going to measure my calves and my thighs. I did uh, measure them earlier, but I thought I'd press record and I hadn't. So let's go ahead and do it again. So let me do my left thigh first. So maybe I'll just use a regular measure tape, measuring tape next time. This one is almost 27 inches for the left thigh. To the right. Right there, thighs about the same, almost 27 inches. See the calves, right calf. I already know that my right calf is bigger than my left. Right calf is like 19 inches and a half. Straight left. Left calf is actually 18 inches. So I'm going to go ahead and get up and do my waist and I'll be done. All right, let me go ahead and finish up and do my waist. This is my waist right here. Okay. Take it off. Waist is like right at 45 inches. I'm going to write that down. All right, I'm done with my measurements. Um, this is, I give this retractable of measuring tape maybe a six and a half out of a 10 because it works pretty good when you do like uh, smaller parts of your body, like your arms and your thighs and the calves, but far as your waist and like the hips to me, it's like a little, well, it works fine with the waist, but like I'm trying to do the hip. And then, um, you know, some of it didn't work as well, but um, I think I'll just use a regular um, measuring tape next time. So if you have any suggestions of a better way to measure myself, please leave in the description box below. I'm going to tally everything up, put it in the book, and then I'm going to show it to you at the end of the video. So um, thank you for watching. And I do have a, a meal idea. Hi y'all, I'm back. I'm gonna be sharing with you what I'm gonna be having for dinner tonight. I'm eating a little late, so I don't have that much of appetite, but I still wanna have dinner. So I, on my way from home from work, I stopped by Ralph's and picked up this Lean Cuisine um, individual small pizza. 
uh, spinach mushrooms pizza with spinach mushrooms and four cheese blend with creamy alfredo sauce 18 grams of protein 360 calories and the main thing I like about it is that it's only um, 340 milligrams of sodium and 9 grams of fat per the package it's not too bad so let me show you what it looks like I must also also it's microwavable so that's Really cool part about it. I have to worry about turning the oven on and getting all hot in here, but I'll show you what it looks like. That's what it looks like. Came out of the microwave, nice and bubbly. So you can see the mushroom, the spinach, and the ch cheese, and the creamy Alfredo sauce. And let me get my uh, piece of cutter. So my piece of cutter, and see if I can go ahead and cut it. Oh, if you can see that it's actually, uh, you, you rest it actually on the box that it comes in. It's folded back and have this little foil and you set it on and microwave it like two and a half, three minutes and let it set for a minute. So let me see if I can go ahead and cut it. Uh, <laughs> so I should have put it on the plate because it's collapsing as you can see. The yeah, box is collapsing. Need something a little more sturdier. But it is cutting it. Cut it in four pieces. Put it around. Oh, smells good. And one of my favorite vegetables is spinach. Oh, yeah, I got four slices. Nice and cheesy. You go taste a piece of it. Mmm, it's great. Nice and cheesy and creamy. I like their fresh sauce. And I also picked up three pound bags of California mandarin oranges. And we be eating those for the next few days and sharing. That's what I'm gonna have like a like a side fruit. So my little pizza and a mandarin orange for, for dinner. Hope that gives you some ideas that you can use to have a, like a quick dinner or even a lunch. Thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe, and share. See you next time. So what is this, Friday? <laughs> okay, I'll see you next time on Workout Monday. Bye.